Well. <clears throat> well, that intro was an ultimate fail. I was going to uh, raise the garage da door, but it looks like uh, looks like it's frozen in place. So that's a problem. Got to figure that out. But in positive news, we finally got some snow. Check it out, man. Look at this. Got snow. <laughs> see well it's good that we have some snow here it really took a toll on my car so gotta warm it up let's do that that is not good that's a million times better looking like a million bucks sorta not really but better so while I let that warm up, I want to go ahead and take advantage of an opportunity here and that is the fact that number one, it is snowing. I have been meaning to give you guys a full on test with the Snapper 82 volt battery powered snow thrower. I've been meaning to do it for quite some time but we haven't had any snow. But fortunately today, we finally got quite a bulk of it. We got a little bit of everything here. On the main driveway, you can see we got a little bit of snow drift here as a matter of fact this is about seven eight inches here along the driveway and then with that we also got some packed snow here we had some heavy foot traffic today uh, while walking to get on the school bus this morning that's right I take the school bus to school don't judge me I don't feel like wasting time and money driving my truck to school and back when I could just take the bus and knock out some emails and you guys get the idea anyway don't judge but uh, yeah so that's what we're dealing with we got to uh, little bit of uh, compacted snow here so we'll be able to see how that scraper bar does that we were talking about last time we don't really have a whole lot of stuff at the end of the driveway here but we do have a little bit we can play with today and just see how it does so with that being said let's break out the snow thrower and get into the action by the way I know I'm not wearing gloves so I'm gonna change that now because it's cold as balls out here right gotta stay warm I just took them off cuz had to adjust the camera and doing that with gloves is just a pain I'm sure my fellow creators out there you know what I'm talking about right so I just wanted to clarify when you're outside in the winter cold wear gloves wear gloves you'll thank yourself later Man, it sucks. I had this whole shot planned out where I was gonna open the back door and put my snow blower in the back, but unfortunately, it's so freaking cold out here that the back door is frozen shut, so that's not gonna happen. But that's okay, I got another solution. Okay, so just a little context. So. 
Um, just this evening, due to all the snow and cold weather we've been getting, I got a text from one of my lawn clients that I usually service throughout the year, and she was like, hey Jake, we're in a bind right now. We really can't get our driveway done. Would you please help us? So, me being the good person I am, I'm gonna head over and uh, take care of that, you know? Especially when it's right down the street. It's literally right up the street here. I could literally walk there, but come on. I got a truck. I'm taking the truck. Easy job. Easy money. Let's go get it done. Okay, so this here, this is the driveway I'm gonna be doing. You see what I mean? This is literally right down the street from my house. You go down that way, make a right, I'm right down there. So close and an easy job that I can knock out with the uh, snapper 82 volt. So let's one and gun and get this done. Let's go. Okay, all done. Let's check it out. You can see not that bad of a job there. Just a simple, regular yard like mine, 5,000 square feet, and then with that fairly small driveway and sidewalk, easy to manage, easy to do with this little guy. And so far, I gotta say, for such a small, quiet machine, it's a beast for this type of work. So far, I'm very, impressed with it all right guys so here we are at the end of the video i want to thank all of you guys for watching really appreciate it so real quick i want to go ahead and give you guys some of my thoughts on how this snowblower did in somewhat of a heavy snow as now as i mentioned at the beginning of the video here we had a little bit of everything from snow drift to compacted snow a little bit at the end of the driveway but not that much and on top of that we also took the snow thrower out did my driveway with it as well as a couple of clients in the area luckily i was able to film one of them by the way and and so far it did very well now one thing I like in particular besides the lights which are pretty dang cool right this thing does a really good job lighting up at night is that metal scraper bar now a lot of people like to underestimate the metal scraper bar especially on um, battery powered snow throwers because typically they have a bad rap for not being able to get through snow piles but I gotta say it did a really great job of getting through most of the ice on the driveway now to be fair here it doesn't it doesn't really get through all the super compacted stuff right some of that stuff you have to end up taking a shovel with but I guess you could really say that with any snow thrower because I've had similar um, issues with my dual stage snow thrower my craftsman where I would try to get it through the heavy compacted ice in my driveway and it just wouldn't be able to do it so to bash it on that would be unfair in my opinion based on my experience now if you guys want to correct me in the comments much appreciated just know that this is not the final video we still have tons more to come on this snow thrower here including a formal overview as we finish out the winter so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here i'm jake the long kid thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time if i don't see you guys next time your lawn is gonna be dominated see you later See if we can make this look a little more cinematic like maybe bu bump that up to four yeah look at that beautiful look at all that snow on there see and we guys tell you this isn't fake we're not kidding you know we're not actors man we're real people doing real work here shout out to my boy brian's lawn maintenance you know what i'm talking about right real work real people not actors Turned out pretty awesome.